Uh, truly, um, and this is this is no nonsense. He's uh, in a hebede hebede. I know. I'm just it's it's well, you know, my my inclination is just to insult you mercilessly. But the truth is, uh, he is an expert on effective government cost control, uh, a lousy golfer. And Chief Communications Officer to Governor Jack Markell, he really is the 30,000-foot guy um, way up there looking down upon what can we do to make these things work. Representing the Net DE community, please welcome Brian Sealander. Thanks so much. And I'm not going to talk about politics. I'm going to talk about the honey badger, who is... Far and away, some people have Google. Uh, he is the strongest, most fearless animal in all of nature. We'll take on tigers, we'll take on the internet, we'll even take on stink bugs. In an economy this rough, how can we identify the best traits of the honey badger in our own job search? Positive psychology, which is a hard science, has some answers. There are 24 unique character strengths across all of human history. If you identify them, uh, cultivate them and display them in your daily life, you actually do see significant improvement in your career. Most of us don't spend time actually consciously being good at what we're good at. Uh, we don't actually spend our time doing what we need to, sort of like the gym equipment in your closet. Uh, each of us have our own top five. If you start consciously applying your strengths, the boss will go from saying, oh, cute little intern, what a good new employee, to being Alan from The Hangover. Join my wolf pack, join my wolf pack. Uh, I'm going to go through five different character strengths that are great for interns and new employees to have. If you test really high on the VIA, Values and Action uh, Test for Appreciation of Beauty, you'll be able to say to your boss, I can increase the aesthetics of my work product and our customers. We had a great intern that said, Brian, I'm not saying that our corporate product is ugly. I'm just saying here's five concrete examples to make it so much better. Compared to, say, a story I heard about a different campaign where somebody said, hey, I just built a statue and I want to take it out to voters. Really, what's the statue of? It's of capitalism urinating on the little guy. Oh, God, we're going to lose. <laughs> it's a good way and bad way. There's another character strength called love of learning. People who demonstrate this to their boss show that every day they come to work, they'll have something new to offer. They'll have a new strength. They will never stop growing as an employee. I've had so many great interns like this. We had somebody in my corporate life who decided he loved public policy and took a deep dive into procurement law and actually helped us make several million dollars in expanding our business. He's been very successful. Um, he's now worked in a presidential campaign and has a high-profile role in Washington, although he actually wants to go to business school because uh, he thinks that's where the money is, and I, I, I agree with that. Uh, Compared to, say, another intern we had who, in the course of a semester, threw his back out, ate a five-day-old cheesesteak, and, uh, <laughs> and then when we said to him, hey, I, I just gave you 300 different things to read. What did you find most interesting? He said, uh, this Dilbert was pretty good. Uh, that's about it. Uh, he also never learned how to close the bathroom door. People that are good at self-regulation are able to show to their boss each and every day that they know how to save the drama for their mama, uh, that they can minimize conflict and keep that outside their work world. I had an intern 18 years old. He said, Brian, I am thousands of miles away from my parents. I should spend every day drinking because I can. Instead, I'm going to spend 18 hours a day working for you. And uh, he's been incredibly successful as well. Actually, Barack Obama has nicknamed him Sharkbait, and I'll explain why after this speech because it's not for public consumption beyond that. Uh, we had another intern whose desire to limit his self-regulation turned into him repeatedly hitting on the receptionist. Uh, he did not last that long. She said to him specifically, I have a large dog. I will sick on you. Uh, another via strength close to this is persistence. People who demonstrate persistence, who are good at it, can show their boss they can be counted on, that when something needs to get done, it will. I had an incredible intern. She was actually in high school. She came in every day after school with a massive cup of coffee and said, I have huge amounts of homework to do, but I'm going to get through every single thing on my desk because I want this office to work better. And you can see what's happened to her. Ivy League degree in three years. She's now doing a JD MBA. Compared to somebody I had who was a graduate student, I was like, hey, sir, uh, what happened to that project I needed done this morning? And he said, you know, um, I play poker to pay for college, and uh, I was winning last night, so like 4 a.m., I kind of fell asleep and forgot about it. Uh, less positive. Most important character strength, though, in any career is zest, enthusiasm, energy. People who test high in this, they are healthier, they are more successful, they are more successful in encouraging their colleagues to do the same. 
Jack Markell is actually presenting right now at a Yale conference with an intern I had in 1999. He's now the CEO of his own company. We were losing by a few points. This guy, Alex Garad, said, I won't let my spirits get down, jumped up on a table, gave a speech, and led 300 people on a massive march through downtown Manchester. Compared to his colleague, who scared the heck out of the other volunteers, because every time he answered the phone, he would say, Bill Barley for president, how can I help you? <laughs> and was very sweaty. Uh, so look, you don't need to be the honey badger, you don't need to be Jaws, although he would like you to take that advice, uh, to be as strong as them. We are all born with our own unique character strengths. If we identify them, cultivate them, and apply them, we can make that difference. We are looking for interns in, in uh, Governor Markell's office. Worst thing that happens, you wind up on YouTube. Thanks so much. Two items. First of all, Brian Sealander brought one of his good interns. Liz Lodge, in communications. She's graduating this year, I understand. Stand up, Liz, where are you? Where's Liz? There you are. Liz Lodge. <laughs> Corporate communications, is that right? Corporate communications? Just anything, just for the love of God, hire her. 